What's up guys, Reefer Man back in the forest of my nightmares. That's right, the forest that I went on a scary adventure on in the first part of this and it reminded me, felt like it's straight out of my nightmares I've been having. Well, not, not always nightmares, I should say recurring dreams. Um, go check out part one, you know, you know what to do uh, for, for info on that. Look for my video where I'm going to go into heavy detail about the dreams I've been having my whole life. If you're into that sort of thing. And um, yeah, click like, subscribe, do all that stuff because, you know, it really, really helps and I appreciate it. If you're here for it, then, you know, click those likes. Alright, let's get into this. Let's get into these woods, no more hesitating. I'm, I'm nervous, I'm not going to lie. thing is, that is it piled up over here on the path. Sorry for the shakes. Maybe it's a gnome's home. I did see those little gnome figures over at the edge of the woods just around the corner. Tell me this don't look like a fucking like a, a doorway over it. Look. See right here? That full slab. Hello? Anybody home in there? Alright, well, I'm gonna head back to the path. Um, shut this off. It's pretty wild. Alright, there was, uh, there was this little mound of uh, concrete and rocks. I don't know why they put it out there like that. that. That's weird. I'm gonna generate a new location here in a second, though, so let's see what we get. More random weird shit right out in the middle of the woods. Look at this. A statue. Now, granted, the statues I see in my recurring dreams are more, um, what's the word? Uh, I can't think of it. Sixth arm goddesses of destruction and that sort of thing. But this is more of a regular. Scared the shit out of me coming around the corner. Because I was focused on this, this piling of rocks over here. I'm gonna go down that trail in a minute. I think this is where my scary adventure wanted me to go last time. I'm still out here trying to find recurring dreams and there's nothing, but I keep seeing little hints of things like this and that statue. So we're gonna go down this path where the statue is because the other way leads to where I just was and I know there's a couple walking around over there somewhere. I'm really trying not to run into them. So yeah, we're gonna 
we're gonna go down here instead. Yeah, I forgot him again. I have no change on me today. So I cannot, cannot leave it. I hope they'll leave me alone. By the way, it didn't work anyway. Last time I uh, came here and left the money for the gnomes, these dreams have been bugging the shit out of me. I've been having them a lot. Like, it's strange. I don't get to where the dream world takes place um, the usual way. Uh, but recently, I just I find myself in the dream world, and it is the city that I'm in in my recurring dreams. So, I don't know. I don't know if being out in these woods recently set it off, but... have a few other locations bookmarked um, that I'll visit uh, once I get back towards the car. I'm hoping this actually leads that general direction. Um, yeah, so I uh, hope you're all enjoying these videos. I, uh, creeps me out doing it. I mean, especially being out here in the woods like this by myself. bag it's my water I'm holding a bag of wa with water in it it's easier to hold than holding a water bottle and if I find any trash I can pick it up on my way back but you know what these woods are strangely devoid of trash like whoever comes out here actually respects this land and hopefully they do because I mean, this was around most of the all of North America was native land at one point, but uh, these woods, Aeronautica doesn't disappoint because I wanted a scary adventure, that's the original intention. And, uh, it's pretty creepy. statue that I wasn't recording when I came across it originally back there that scared the shizzies out of me. I don't know about this uh, path, looks like it's not leading to much. I hope it leads back towards the, the car at the very least. same path I took to get here, but what fun would that be? Where my pin was, uh, the edge of the radius of that was at the top of, near the top of where this path was, so that's why we're walking it. Sorry for the shakes. It won't be so bad when I get a camera soon. 
right now. I'm just doing this with my phone. Uh, trying to, anyway. I know the quality is not the best. You gotta start somewhere, right? <laughs> That's what I was told. Bees, bugs, buzzes. trail disappears. I'm done going back. There's a tree growing out of that rock over the hole in that ground. Yeah, I'm good. Yep, 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 yep. What's up, guys? I'm back here with another Randall Nautica video. Hidden intention. I mean, hidden adventure is the intention. And uh, we're out here. This seems like a pretty hidden area to me. Uh, it's a well-used trail system, but Ain't really, I haven't seen anybody since I parked the car. There were some people chilling there, but um, yeah, we're almost to our destination. So let's flip the camera around and give you all a view of what I'm seeing. Ah, so as you can see, this is a basically a driveway of a, of a trail. There are all these placards here telling you about the about the plants and stuff out here. It's pretty cool. They uh, really know how to take care of their trail systems out here. And now, like I said, my intention on Rando today was hidden adventure, and this has certainly been a fun little adventure so far. Look at this. I love I love artwork like this. Like somebody stacked up that shit. Uh, I'm not going off the beaten path until I'm close to my location because I ain't getting lost in these woods. I'm not near my house at all. Not even in the same state that I live in. What is up everybody? So I found a little bench bug. Uh, found a nice little bench to sit and uh, do something real quick. Um, so I just wanted to briefly touch on the recent videos that I did where I was looking for signs of my recurring dreams out in a forest and for ri Fall River. Um, there was nothing. I went back. There was nothing else. 
Uh, the dreams have increased or come back since then though, so that that's kind of weird. But however, we're out here today looking for hidden adventure. Uh, thought I heard somebody. Uh, I'm not alone. This is a well-used system. There are other people out here. But hidden adventure is my intention for today. So let's see what we can find. All right. We'll see you down the road. I've got my point, but I can't. I'll show you a screenshot right here. There you have it. There, that's where I'm at and that's where I have to be. So uh, with that being said, let's get on further down the trail. Let's see what kind of adventure lies in wait. Shall we? Y'all, I just saw a snake and scared the shit out of me. I screamed like a little girl. And people are laughing at me because people are over there fishing. So yeah, that was awesome. Just thought I'd share that little moment. I'm gonna record for a bit here. We are almost there. And I swear to God, if I see another fucking snake. I hate snakes, y'all. Call me Indiana Jones, y'all. I hate snakes. But I love this exploration stuff. Freaking bench in the middle of the damn path. Oh, there's another little body of water over here. Which means more snakes and shit. Uh, oh, wow, look at this. Oh, sweet. Very, very pretty. Very beautiful. Let's keep going. We're almost to where the pin drop is. What in the world? That's creepy. Right, we're trucking on here. We're almost there. is up ahead. Alright, all these randonautica trips I've been doing lately have been bringing me to these forests. Not even the same stretch of forest either. I'm not even in my home state anymore. And they are all starting to look like something straight out of my dreams. Um, what is this? Facing the concrete pillar, you are looking down the historic Colebrook line, a major survey line laid out in the 1670s when this large eastern section was added to Newtown of Little Compton. The line extends the north-south flank of Little Compton from Tiverton to Goosewing Beach. Originally, small stone piles marked its location. In the 1990s, a few concrete pillars were sunk here to mark it permanently. Let's go check out the concrete pillar. Don't let there be snakes over here, please. Which is the concrete pillar. Zoom out. That's not zoom, is it? And that plaque there says during the third 300 plus year history of the Cold Brook line. There we go. 
It drifted to the east and to the west, shifting with many generations of surveys. Yada yada. All right, so that's cool, I guess. Uh, let me check and see if this is the way I should be going. Jumping at shadows. Thought I saw a damn huge ass snake. It was just some rope tying some logs together over some muddy area. Um, So, yeah, we are almost at the location. I'll see you further up the road here. What the fuck am I looking at? I don't know how well you can see that because of the glare. But I'm over here. I came from this way here. I'm going to go up this way because this is the area of my intention. Um, this trail is pretty wild. I'm, I'm loving it out here. Around. See, I'm at a crossroads. That's the way I came. That's the way I'm gonna go. I think this is the way it comes out. And that way there, I don't really know. That leads the other way. So uh, let's get this journey on the road. Let's get going. We are almost there. Right, here we go. Apparently, there's old farmland, which means maybe a barn of some sort. Out here. Either way, this is quite the hidden adventure. And I believe this is what the Randonautica app was used for uh, or created for. Alright, so I believe this is the purpose of the app to get you outside of your normal zone. Uh, and outside of your normal routine it did send me down to this forest it sends me to a lot of forests uh, that might be something you know that I'm personally manifesting unconsciously um, you know I, I watched the creators of this app talk a little bit and uh, I still don't understand much of it but uh, Try to go into this with good vibes, happy, you know, uh, positive exploration vibes, you know. <laughs> Hidden adventure, that's uh, that's pretty positive. It doesn't have to be a negative thing. It doesn't have to be a scary thing. I don't have to be chased through the woods or some shit by unseen forces for this to be successful, you know. Um, So yeah, this was a, a successful little journey, I think, because I am on a nice little adventure through the woods. Don't know how far this goes, don't know where I'll end up, but we'll see you on the other side. Alright, so I'm on a path that is literally marked as not being marked. I am off the beaten path so-called although this path is fairly well well maintained by the looks of it um, I'm still on my radius uh, on my hidden adventure I have a feeling this is just gonna lead me back to the, the crossroads I was at before but we shall see I'll, I'll keep it recording just in case I come across anything interesting to look at or, or anything. It's really, really hoping to see some ruins. Like old barns or something. It's all farmland out here. It used to be back in the day. Uh. On there.
very peaceful out here. I want to thank you all for joining me in this adventure. As I try to use Randonautica the way it was meant to be. You know, I'm not trying to find any crazy things out the woods. Like, oh my gosh, what is this? It's a box of something. I'm not. I don't. I know that would make for great content, but that's... It's not the point of all this. It's not for me. You know? I've been using this app for a while now. And I'm finally getting the idea of it. Being that you... You know, it's really there to open your eyes, open your mind to uh, the world around you and, and yeah. right. I don't think I'm anywhere near my destination anymore. I left that way behind. Oh, jeez. This is the flooded part of the road they were talking about. The sign back there. Yeah, I'm not going through that. Yeah, that's some serious muckety muck. I am not getting my feet soaked. We are going back the other way. All right, let me kill the camera. So to wrap it up, uh, the beginning of this video, as you saw, was my return trip for the Nightmare Forest. And uh, yeah, other than some statues and such that, you know, It, it was it was a good adventure but it wasn't it just brought to mind all those dreams I have since uh, since I was a child um, and then the second half of this video was of course my next uh, you know adventure uh, my next intent my next trip rando nodding um, yeah so as you see you know it kind of just reiterates the fact that you're not gonna get this isn't about getting scary encounters on every little thing you do. Um, that's kind of why I've been playing it and trying to do these videos. I, I don't... If something creepy or scary happens, of course it's going to be a video. It's probably going to be a good one. If nothing really happens, like in this video... Does that mean it's really a bust? Does that really mean... It, it, it has failed. Um, no, I don't think so. I think this was a successful... Uh, these have been successful journeys. Um, even if there's no hard physical thing at those locations, you know? It's not about finding something physical. Uh, exactly. But yeah, that's pretty much all we've got for today for this video. I have, uh, I've got some, I've got some locations bookmarked. Uh, I'm not recutting that. Like I'm just keeping that right there. Um, that's all anyway. I'm not gonna do any. What was I saying? Oh, I've got some bookmarked locations that I'll be doing. My son's been home from school. You know, school's out for the summer, and his summer camp thing hasn't started yet. So I've been hanging out with him all all week, when possible. Um, I haven't had a chance to go film any rando, but uh, that's um, I got some locations with some interesting intents in in the works. I'm not going to promise any dates because that's not going to work well for me ever, I, especially with editing issues. I don't know what I'm doing half the time with editing. I'm still really new at this. Uh, and any of the support you guys have been giving me has been great. I really appreciate it. So let's continue that by clicking like and subscribe and sharing this and uh, leave a comment. Tell me how I can improve. Yeah, I know. I'm using a phone. Uh, not always the best quality to watch 
a video made on the phone through a phone, especially if you're on a better phone than the one I used to record this with, you know? Um, it's like playing a classic Nintendo game on a freaking, uh, you know, PlayStation 5. It just don't, it just don't cut it. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's all I've got. I am Reef of Man Reviews. Y'all stay good to each other. Peace.